Today we're going inside the world's largest convenience store and gas station chain, Bucky's. Quick disclaimer, this location is in Royce City outside of Dallas, which isn't the largest location. The largest Bucky's in the world is located in Luling, Texas, but that was quite a ways from our road trip route. So today we're heading inside this location, which is still huge. But just before we go in, let's get into some of the company's history. The first Bucky's was opened in 1982 in Clute, Texas by Arch Beaver Applin III. The name Bucky came about by the founders combining of his nickname, his dog's name Buck, and Ipana toothpaste mascot, Bucky the Beaver. And today you can see the Bucky's mascot named Bucky the Beaver as well, all over the chain. It's headquartered in Lake Jackson, Texas, and now has 50 locations. A vast majority of these locations are in Texas, with the rest being in the south, except for one all the way out west in Colorado. As stated earlier, the largest location is in Luling, coming in at 75,000 square feet. Bucky's also holds the record for the world's largest car wash at 255 feet of conveyor in Katy, Texas. Now let's go inside. Walking in we see a barbecue pit for $498 and we also see various mascot related items like this mascot inflatable for $59.98 and these pool noodles for $34.99. They also have a six quart ice cream maker for $69.98. Next is this sign at the entrance that displays the wages you can expect to be paid if you work at Bucky's, and these are actually really good especially when you consider that Texas minimum wage is $7.25 but there are multiple cities that pay above that. Now that we're actually in, we can see that their snack section is to the right, and this area definitely lets you know that this isn't your typical convenience store. Their snack section has walls dedicated to various snacks, like their popcorn wall consisting of triple mix, caramel popcorn, and more, a dried fruits wall that includes milk, chocolate, raisins, and banana chips, and an old faves wall that consists of lots of taffy and sours. Around this section, they even have a little new stand that has even more sweet treats from their overbite brand chocolate truffles and almonds to their own milk chocolate bar. Other items here include pickled eggs, chips, drinks, and even souvenir items. Next up is the huge jerky wall they have, and there are just so many flavors I'm not even gonna try to name them all. And now that we're back towards the middle of the store, we can see there's coffee, soda machines, and restrooms. And normally at most places, restrooms wouldn't be anything to talk about, but that's not the case for Bucky's. Their bathrooms are so nice inside, so much so that they actually won the Cinta's Best Restroom Award in 2012. I bet most people don't even know that that was a thing you could win an award for, but they deserve to win. These bathrooms are super clean and even better, they have way more privacy than most restrooms. But now let's go to the other side of the store, which is where all their merch is. And there's a lot. Bucky's has Bucky's themed swimsuits, Bucky the Beaver plush toys, a bigger version, a wrist version, Bucky's hats, Bucky's blankets, soccer balls, tumblers, shot glasses, hoodies, tote bags, shirts, and even headphones. That's not all though. They also have non-Bucky's related things like Cowboys merch, Longhorns merch, t-shirts, hats, shoes, animal products, tactical gear, coolers, sunglasses, and even this. How much is this? $23.98 to roast a hot dog on here. Look at this. Very expensive. Someone's making bank off of that. People probably buy that, use it once, and then never use it again. I bet they buy them and never use them. Close by is the area that is more of a home decor section. This area has cowhide purses, more Texas-themed shirts, cowhide rugs, paintings, wall decor, and even poo-pourri. It also has jewelry, cowhide flasks, and other interesting things you can put in your home. I've been getting really into golf recently, that's why Lauren pointed this one out. It's a bottle opener. Can you guess how much it is? It's gonna be something ridiculous, like $45. It's $34.98. They even have a golf ball for them. Ice mold. What the heck? Dang, they have a lot of golf Crystal. I don't even want to touch it because I don't want to break it. I'm starving. We haven't eaten anything but Pringles today. Can be jerky. And what time is it? Six o'clock. We've been awake since like 10 30. Finally, we're back in the middle of the store. If you love food, then you'll love this section. Right in the middle is where they have tons of food ranging from a bakery to actual meal items. Here, you'll find cookie dough, cookies, cakes, and also burritos, various types of sandwiches that are made fresh in front of you, and even more treats like apple pie, peach cobbler, and banana pudding. So of course, after a long day of driving, we had to get a few things to eat. We decided to go with a beef burrito, a chicken sandwich, a pulled pork sandwich, and for dessert, a chocolate bar and some banana pudding. All right, we're heading to check out and we're gonna eat this stuff in the car because it's too loud in here and that'd be kind of weird to eat it in here. Oh yeah, we also got gas for $2.96 a gallon. 2.96 out here. We read a sign inside that said 2.82, but I guess it was wrong. They changed it, so not as good as what we're thinking, but still all right. And everything beats San Diego's gas prices. What do you think it's gonna be? I think the, the car's slightly over half. I'm gonna say 1238. 13.24. Bruh, you're out. All right, guys, so we just came out of Bucky's and we got all the food that we're gonna try. What should we start with, though? I think you should pick. 
I think being the cheapest, we'll go with the chicken sandwich. It's a fried chicken sandwich, $6.99. It looked pretty good. There was another sandwich we're gonna go with that was right next to it, but it had spicy mayonnaise, and I suck with spicy stuff, as I've mentioned in previous videos, so I would just be hating my life after eating that. Fried chicken, this one sounds like it's gonna be pretty good. I hope they don't mess up a chicken sandwich. Wow, this is a big sandwich, dude. We're gonna be full just from this. Can you open it? What's on it? Ooh, hopefully that's not spicy. Yeah, I'm kind of worried now. I'm gonna take a bite of the chicken first. It's really crunchy, I heard that. So far, some of that sauce hit my mouth, but I didn't have any spicy feeling yet. It's pretty good, too. I'm not gonna lie, whenever I see stuff wrapped with this, I'm like, it's gonna be good. It's not spicy, you said? No, I'm pretty sure I would've known by that, that second bite. That's a huge sandwich, by the way. This is definitely a lot for your money. Like, this is pretty good, I think, for $7. It is super good, though. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be way smaller. That's Dude. insane, yeah. It just kinda, like, hides how big it is with that wrapping. And we ate some of it. Next up, let's go with the beef burrito. I want to try it first this time. This is huge too, man. Their proportions are really good. It is true, everything's bigger in Texas. Not gonna lie though, it does feel really soggy. Guys, will you be mad if I eat it like this? I'm gonna take another bite because the first bite I took, um, the top part of the tortilla was like hard and I don't know if that's cause it's been sitting there or something else, but from the meat that I tasted, it did taste good, so. I thought it tastes pretty good. It's filling, it's not the most flavorful thing I've had, but it definitely tastes good. Yeah. Next and final food besides a dessert we have, the pulled pork sandwich, which just comes in a cent short of the burrito, it's 748. I'm really excited for this one. This sounds really good. This sounds like a really barbecue Texas type thing. Let us know if you've ever been to Salt Lick. I've been there once. That was crazy good. That's a barbecue place. I get the first bite of the pulled pork sandwich. I'm excited to bite it. That's so good. Having something that tastes this good, especially when you've been starving all day because we've just been surviving off chips, granola bars, and beef jerkies to make it to this far in Texas, pretty good. It sucks when I eat stuff like this since I recently got braces like a few months ago, like four or five months ago. Everything gets stuck and I have to clean it right away. So it's like, uh. Trust me, this is gonna be worth it. Mm. Okay. Before we go to the pudding, I wanna rate all these. So we'll start with the chicken sandwich. So you guys saw the chicken sandwich, really big for the price, $7, $6.99, plus tax, of course, has that sauce. You get a big slab of chicken, so no complaining there. It's definitely up there with chicken sandwiches. It's probably not the best ever chicken sandwich I've had, but it's definitely up there with like better than average and really good. I'm probably gonna give this a nine out of 10. I would honestly probably get a nine. No. A nine out of 10 too. There's a half-eaten beef burrito. Mm. This is definitely gonna be the lowest rating I gave out of all of these just because it wasn't anything special. It's still filling and I would eat it again, but out of these, I wouldn't pick it. Seven out of 10, not crazy flavorful or anything. I'd probably go like six and a half. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it's missing something, like some type of flavor. You know, being honest, sorry, Bucky. Dude, this is so good. I'm sure like real barbecue heads will know like some place that makes an insanely good pulled pork barbecue sandwich, but I haven't had this in a while and this tastes amazing to me. I'm just going 10. It's so close on this and the chicken sandwich with me. I really like both of them a lot. I don't know, they're just so close. Probably but just both nine. They both taste super good to me. If you go to Bucky's, you should definitely try the pulled pork and the chicken sandwich. Sorry, uh, burrito. Yeah. Bucky's, great food, great atmosphere. Lots of cool merch. I need to switch into my Texas hat. I feel dumb that I'm wearing a Colorado hat right now when I just bought a Texas hat. You can switch it while we eat the pudding. Okay, hats are on and pudding's about to be eaten. I love banana pudding and I saw this and I was like, we're getting it. $4.99 for large, $3.99 for a small. So we thought, screw it, we'll just go with large. It's only a dollar more. Have you had banana pudding? I'm sure I have at least once, but I don't remember. It's I'm pretty good. sure it's gonna taste good though. Mm. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I put my finger in your pudding. That sounds weird. That's really good. I'm not even usually into banana stuff that's not a banana, but even this is like really good. Mm, what's your favorite pudding? Do you guys like banana pudding or key lime pudding? Ooh, that's so good too. I'm gonna say 10 out of 10. I think it's really good, so. I'm saying that too. This wouldn't even be my go-to pudding, but this is a great pudding, so I'm also saying 10. All right, guys. <laughs> we forgot that we had bought a Bucky's chocolate bar and we left it in the car overnight in Arkansas. Um, when we went to the car, it was literally all liquid, the whole thing. Like if you opened it, it would just be a drink. We put it in the fridge in Nashville and <laughs> it is solid. We're gonna try it. It's gluten-free, no artificial sweeteners. Oh, 
looks a little weird. Ow. Tastes like chocolate. So obviously we made a mistake, um, but if this is a good chocolate bar, I think it'll still taste good. So let's see. <laughs> tastes really good. Tastes like a normal chocolate bar. Eight out of 10, nothing crazy, but good chocolate. I would say eight out of 10 too. All right guys, we hope you enjoyed the video and we hope you like and subscribe for more content. We would really appreciate it. It helps us out a lot. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.